Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Something Strange About Uncle Howard, and this is a game about a family that is having some issues, I guess, and they've let in this stranger who claims to be the uncle of the family, Uncle Howard, this man in the middle there with the creepy little fingers and whatnot, and he's feeding off of the issues in the household. There's something strange about him, obviously. This game was actually made in only two days for the Global Game Jam, which is very, very, very impressive to me. Every single time devs come forward with games that look this polished, like I love the art style here. I'm always so impressed by that. Also, this is a point and click visual novel style game, so maybe you guys will get to hear some voice acting. Who knows? Anyway, we got Uncle Howard here sitting at the dinner table. Everyone's sort of enjoying their meal. They all look sort of gloomy. There's also the dog is at the table. I think that's a dog in the lower left there. So, you finally let me in, huh? Oh man, he's got a weird voice. Don't you fear me? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. If you need something, I will be here. If you don't, I'll be here too. Oh god. <laughs> I'm really excited about all of this. You can call me on any occasion. I think it would be fun. After all, within every problem lies an opportunity. Oh, okay, Uncle Howard. All right, interact is left button and then pan is right. Okay, so if we hold the right mouse button, we can pan across the room here. It's very intense looking stuff here. All right, uh, can we talk to anyone? We can't talk to anyone. We can't click anybody here at the table. I think we got mom on the left there with the dog. She looks a little bit gloomy. There's dad on the right who's very gloomy. And then I don't, I think that's a girl, probably our sister or something like that over on the right with dad. And she's looking kind of sad. I don't want to assume anything. We'll find out, I guess, as the game continues. All right, so there's interactable objects on the screen that if I scroll my mouse over, I'll be able to... I guess click on them, figure out what they're all about. It's a little dog bone in a jar with spider webs. What the heck's that? I don't want to click on anything until I've investigated the whole room. I feel like that will be the good thing to do. Ooh, family photo. Interesting stuff. And that looks like that's all there is. This is a pretty dingy house. Pretty dingy rundown looking house. I feel like obviously the issues that were talked about on the homepage or something bad. Let's click this family photo. See what's up with that. The frame in the porous wall is bent, but inside it shows a delighted memory of a delightful family. Dad still had all teeth to smile, mom is sun-kissed, sister is holding her head high, and the dog is fat as a contest pig. <laughs> all right, so, oh man, so dad has uh, bad dental hygiene, I guess. I miss those times. I was as fit as a fiddle. Back then I could go to the beach, all right, no shame. Ah. Oh, yeah, so this is our sister. Mom, you still look fine. Darn easy for you to say. You never looked like me. Oh, man. Mom, don't be a biatch to her sister. It's very rude. Ah, oh, geez. So there's like some familial problems going on here, I'm, I'm feeling. I also saw that we can click on Dad's plate. Dad, what's up with your plate here? Uh, oh, the time changed. The meatloaf looks dry as a bone. However, it seems that a member of the family would accept the cuisine without hesitation. Oh! Whoa, wait, what? What just happened? Why is the dog missing? Uh, wait a second. Okay, and there's a crack in the wall. Okay, was that here before? I don't think it was. I do not think it was. I hear a record player or something, radio, playing some, some tunes. There's a report card, it looks like, on the uh, on the fridge there. There's a broom. Uh, piggy bank. I wonder what the piggy bank's all about. Interesting. This is really interesting so far. The time keeps passing by every time I click an object. It looks like it goes forward 15 minutes each time. I don't know if we're supposed to be figuring something out. If this is... I, I don't think this is linear because there's so many different objects we can click. And it looks like the objects that we could click changed as the lightning bolt hit. So, yeah. One little piggy loots some coins to run away from home. One little piggy is going to be crying wee 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 all alone. Oh gosh. So mom or my sister maybe stole the money to like leave home. 
because it doesn't look like home life's too good. Okay, interesting. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is kind of creepy, very eerie. It also seems sort of sad. Everything seems kind of sad. Ah, oh, there's a backpack here. Okay, is that to run away with? You notice that your sister can't stop looking at the stuffed backpack next to the door. You remember the night in which she spent hours on the phone with her boyfriend talking about the future, but you didn't expect the future to arrive so soon. Sister, I know sometimes this place feels like a living hell, but please don't give up. I can't stand this anymore. I have to do something. It just gets worse every single day to get rid of this horrible feeling that grows bigger each day. Oh, so sister's under like a lot of pressure and I guess this is her, yeah, running away. She's trying to get away from home at the very least move out. Maybe she's, you know, needs to be on her own for a bit away from the folks. Maybe they're kind of overbearing or something. I know that it isn't easy, mainly for you. I get what you're feeling. It's hard for me too, but without you, uh, would be even worse. Do you really think there's any hope for this mad madhouse? Yeah, I do. How? Together. Aw. Yeah, you gotta stick it out together. All right, yeah, things have changed. Dad's plate looks a little bit more loaded than mom and sister's here now. So I'm trying to encourage my sister, let her know that things could be fine. Doesn't look like anyone disappeared from the dinner table. I don't know if that's something that's supposed to happen each time, but it doesn't look like anyone disappeared from the dinner table this time around. I wanna click dad's full plate. What's this all about, dad? How come you got a loaded plate? You know that, oh, this is dad talking. You know that I'm rough and have a hard, or a heart hard like a rock, but it's in moments like these that I remember why I fell in love with you, woman. No, oh, that's not very nice, Colin, your, your wife just woman. This food is granny slapping good. The mother smiles and blushes while directing a disproving glare towards her husband. Oh man. Okay, why? Why, why, I mean, she's probably not happy that he called her woman, but he was, he was complimenting her food. I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, there's a little bottle here as well. Oh, I should have explored the rest of the room to see what was up. Do you know what a man desires when he gets home? Food, love, attention. It's not reuniting with his kids. It's not kissing the sweet lips of his wife. Oh, that was my next guess, although I was trying to keep it semi-PG-13. <laughs> what a man desires is a cold beer and some peace of mind. Okay, Howard. A uh, cold beer and a peace of mind. Uh, he just wants to be, like, left alone. He's like, oh, I had a hard day at the office. I need to just chill out, spend time by myself. What's this all about? Miss something. Oh, and there's the record player playing our tunes. It sounds like Frank Sinatra. Ah, hello. Who is you? Why are you looking into our family home? Okay. I was going to say, uh, the record player sounds like Frankie Sinatra boy, um, who I'm a big fan of, but I do not know what's happening. Oh, my. Okay, scary TV time. Very weird. Uh, oh, there's a gun here? Why? Gun, clicky, let's find out what you're about. A shattering noise comes from outside the house, but no windows look cracked. If only we had an actual firearm, not this stupid BB gun. The kids could get hurt. Oh, oh no, a life without kids. What a tragedy that would be. Oh man, Uncle Howard, you're creepy. Oh, okay, why is mom gone now? What did I do? What, uh, uh that's different now as well. Big eyeball. Okay. Oh, we're bricked in here. Oh, and the decor has changed quite a bit. This teeth needs some dental work. This door needs some dental work. I mean, oh my God, what is happening in this game? I feel like they're in like hell or purgatory. Uncle Howard said that we couldn't be rid of him. Now it's just dad and the sister left. What's up with your record player, dad? What's going on with that, man? Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Okay, yeah, sure. What about the creepy people outside? What's up with that? Haven't you realized yet? A problem never comes alone. Okay, yeah, there's, there's certainly a lot of problems in this home of homes. There's a bottle up here of Jack Daniels, it looks like. You look at that big golden bottle with mixed feelings of anger and sorrow. All those terrible moments come to your mind. Am I like an addict or something like that? Oh, okay, what happened there? Uh, okay. 
Home is back to normal, it looks like, or as normal as I guess it could be under the circumstances of Uncle Howard visiting and tormenting us with these weird riddles. Uncle Howard, can you just be like, I don't know, man. Can you just be like honest with us, straightforward? Don't talk in riddles. Tell me what the hell's going on. There's just a paper here I can interact with. Okay. Well, here we are again, kid. Are you not tired of making the same mistakes? What? What do you mean? Oh, so you finally let me in, huh? Wait, don't you fear me? Doesn't matter. Oh, wait, okay. So was that the game telling me that what I selected was wrong? So there has to be like a good ending, I guess, or as good of an ending as this game can get. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. You're gonna be here forever. We can't get rid of you. What the heck? All right, so I guess, I guess we should click other stuff and what we, we did before and then we'll be able to win the game or get away from Uncle Howard at least. I don't know what the objective even is in this, but clearly there's some like bad things going on. I feel like this family's stuck in purgatory and they're trying to like face their feelings together and Uncle Howard is sort of like the mediator that's like, you can't escape this purgatory of reliving the same horrible mistakes over and over again until you guys like, I don't know, maybe talk about them, address them solve them somehow i'm supposed to solve them i guess because i'm the one who's selecting the items i'm really curious about this dog bone in the jar why that has cobwebs in it and stuff you realize the sloppy flesh stained empty bowl and the famished dog uh it gazes at you seeking help with his begging eyes oh poor puppy i'm so sorry puppy can't stay quiet anymore let's address the big fat elephant in the room there's someone starving to death and no one noticed <laughs> Watch your mouth, boy. Are you saying I don't provide for the family? Ah, Dad, come on. Woof. Aw, poor doggy. Dad looks at the dog, then shifts his gaze to the empty bowl with abandoned cobwebs. This is a joke, girl. I give shelter to this raggedy dog, and you don't even feed it. You're no good. The sister mumbles an apology to the dog and hands out... Uh, hands him her food. Oh, no. I noticed that there's like a couple little translation errors that here and there, but uh, I'll work through them as best as I can, guys. That's horrible. Oh, no. Why? The sister has to give up her meal for the dog? I feel like that's the wrong thing to do here. <sighs> she usually doesn't forget about her chores. There's something off about her these last days. Oh, oh okay. This time, all right, this time the dog's still there after the lightning. All right, so there's something off about her. Uh, the thing that's off about her is that she, she's trying to like run away from home or something, I think. At least that's what we got last time. I think that, is the backpack over here still? Yeah, okay, so the backpack made her stay after the lightning bolt, so is the lightning bolt? The lightning bolt normally takes away people if we make the wrong decision, I'm guessing. Uh, I, I don't, I still don't 100% understand what's going on, but I remember clicking the backpack meant that she didn't go away. You notice that your sister can't stop looking at the stuff backpack. All right, we've already read this one, so we're gonna move through this one. Is this just me addressing the actual issues? Like the dog wasn't fed, the sister's sad and is thinking of running away. Me being the responsible young lad that I am, I'm addressing these things, I'm bringing them up to my family so that we actually talk about them and don't eat in silence. I don't know. All right, let's keep talking. Uh, yep, so sister's still here. Uh, and then, so beer was wrong last time. We got record player and we got that picture. I don't know what the pictures are for. Uh, maybe you tried the picture? I don't know, I really don't know because I remember the people, clicking the people in the window didn't do anything. TV guy's really creepy, but I don't know if he's part of the problem. Gun was the wrong choice also. So just by process of elimination, we could try. We can try. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, the record player, actually wait, the record player I don't think made a lightning bolt happen, so yeah, the picture might be the good thing. Like a sunset, the photo was in warm orange and worn out tones. Shows mom back when she had her maiden name and could take every heart. Ah, so mom, I feel like mom's issue is that she's really like fixated on how she used to look. She's very sad about like the way that she's aged. She used to be like a total hottie with a body and was able to win the hearts of any man and felt really confident about herself. And now she's like fixated on the fact that she's aging, um, which is never a good thing to be. So maybe that's her issue. Some days I can't even look at this photo. I was so young. Mom, you know I love you. Stop dwelling on it. You're still beautiful, but beauty's not everything, you know? Aha, I'm a smarty. 
Sometimes you amaze me, boy. Oh. Yeah, okay, so that must be the right thing for mom then. Okay, so I feel like each item is related to one of the characters directly and determines whether or not they stick around because that's the issue that we need to address. So we have the dog with the food, we have the sister with the backpack, the mom with the photo, and it's kept all the family members here. Dad's the only one left. And dad, well, okay, so these two things didn't work before. Uh, big eyeball, scary, scary times. Oh, big teeth door, big, big teeth door. Uh, TV and this, not, not good, not good things. They're kind of creepy. I don't know if they do anything. Record player, bottle, uh, all right. Uh, did I click the bottle before? I don't remember if I clicked the bottle. I don't think I did. Oh wait, no, I did, shit. Okay, this is probably the wrong thing then. I don't remember, crap. <laughs> you look at the big, yeah, no, you look at that big golden bottle in the so this might fail. Terrible moments come to, like, oh, wait, what? Wait, what the heck? That was different than before. Okay, wait, so was Uncle Howard's gone now? Was that the right thing to do? It's just I had to do the other. So is the bottle dad's issue? Am I mad not because I'm the one who's addicted to the bottle? Unless I'm about to address my own problems. Is is this dad's issue? And uh, I just had to do everyone else's problems first before I click that? The music's still going. Still got Frankie boy in the background. Frank Sinatra, man. But now Uncle Howard's gone and we got this paper again. What the hell is happening, guys? You put your hand over the flyer and take a deep breath. Dad, we have something to talk about. It's about your, oh yeah, okay. We did it. Uh, completely, completely by accident, I was able to figure this out, mainly through process of elimination. This feels like a very like trial and error style game. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna address Dad about his drinking habit. About your issue with I have no issues, boy. Calm down, Dad. That's exactly the problem. You're sick and bringing everybody down with you. I'm tired. Uh, it's, it's tiring to try to keep hiding my problems like they don't mean anything. A short while ago, I even considered leaving this house. I'm your daughter and I love you, but it's impossible to keep watching you destroy yourself like this. Darling, the kids are right. Oh, man. So... Instead of being like fractured and staying silent about this big issue, we're all bonding together as a family to try to talk this out with dad and hopefully he sees reason and doesn't push us away here. It's complicated to put up with the way you change when you drink. That's not you. When I see you in that state, I really miss the man I once fell in love with. I miss the man who raised me. I miss the man that taught me how life is hard and how strong we need to be to face it. We can't avoid this anymore. It's not just about you. It's about our family. You used to be, you used to take care of us. Now it's our time to do it. Oh, that's kind of a sweet sentiment. Thank you. Thank you all for giving me a chance to this old rag. Oh, and they lived happily ever after, aw. Okay, so that was somehow the good ending. I didn't even know that there was a good ending in this game. I knew that obviously I'd made mistakes on my first run through, but now that I made all the right mistakes, or not right mistakes, right choices, I was able to actually solve the family's issues. So there was a lot going on here. This was really kind of heavy. I, I didn't realize that it was going to be quite this heavy. I had a feeling just from the screenshots, it was going to be eerie, very creepy, have something off about it. I love the art style and the animation here. It looks really smooth. It's almost got this like strange sort of like, I don't know, like Tim Burton or like Invader Zim style thing going on with it. But I, I like that a lot. And I love the presentation of these issues. Like, they weren't just, like, super on the nose about... I mean, they were kind of with some of the things, but, like, there were hints that were dropped through the dialogue that made you have to guess what each person's issue was. And then, as you guys saw, I figured it out as time went on. Like, oh, we're solving the issues. We, the son, are addressing these with our family to make sure that everyone is able to talk through this together. So the dad had a drinking problem, which was sort of like the root of a lot of the issues. His teeth were falling out because of it. He was always in a bad mood. He wanted to be left alone. He didn't talk through any sort of issues that the other members of the family were having. So that was sort of like the big issue at the top. And then as a result, the wife didn't feel loved. She didn't feel beautiful. She was fixated on how her aging was making her undesirable. And it probably came from the fact that her husband wanted nothing to do with her. And then the daughter felt unloved by both parents because they were both so wrapped up in their own issues that none of them wanted to pay attention to her or 
help her out. So the brother was the only one caring. And then as a result, she was all forlorn, which hurt the dog who wasn't getting fed. So there you have it, guys. That is the end explanation, the too long didn't read explanation for those of you guys who needed cliff notes at the end there. This was a really cool game. I enjoyed it a lot. I love the way that it uh, presented itself and handled these really deep, very, very relatable and sad issues. Uh, so hopefully uh, this family really does live happily ever after. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sure,